one of our TEFL course. We're just quickly walking to the school now. It's about a five, ten minute walk. We still need to figure out how we're going to get to school in the mornings. Either get a bicycle or I don't know, get a scooter. In the hotel we're staying in, right across the road there's a little coffee shop. So that's very, very convenient to so pick these up from there. Nice coffee for our walk to work. Here you just picked up a croissant for breakfast for 8,000 dong. On the way to, from our hotel to the school, the AVSE school, we've seen like three learning centers already. They are all over the place. at the school now so we'll catch up with you guys soon. On our way home from school, our first day is complete. How do you feel about it? It was really good. It wasn't actually too overwhelming. One thing they told us is to not really overthink it. There's no preparation that you can do for the course. Like Clary, she overthinks everything and I tell her, don't worry, we'll take each day as it comes, one day at a time and just move forwards. And that's what he told us. He basically said, there's no preparation, just come with a clean slate and an open mind and They'll teach you everything you need to know, so there's nothing you need to worry about. And the nice thing is we've made a good group of friends, um, so we're pretty much doing everything together. We've made a WhatsApp group, so we're in contact with each other, so that's one thing we suggest. When you come to a new country, make a WhatsApp group, get everyone's numbers and stick together and go through everything together. Uh, so we've got our basic course outline. This afternoon we have to uh, do a bit of homework. We have to come up with some 25 warm-up drills or warm-up activities, We're supposed to not call them games apparently, so we call them activities. And uh, yeah, so but before that we need to go to District 1, Clearly, needs to get some new shoes. Yeah, so uh, when you teach in Vietnam you have to dress formal and I left my formal shoes at home. I have to go and get some now. <laughs> so we're off to the mall with our friends to get some formal shoes and just do some shopping and chilling out. But that's the day. We're gonna actually take you along with us to show you how we get there. Okay, we are now walking to the bus stop. That's opposite the school. And we need to get onto bus number 18. We just picked up. Um, I got a sugarcane drink, and Clary's got a big granadilla drink. Mine was 5,000, and Claire's was 10,000. I was expecting this drink to be really, really sweet because it's straight out of a sugar cane, but it's actually really not bad. Not too sweet at all. And it costs 5,000 dong. That's extremely cheap. How are you doing? 
What are we on this bus for? We're going to go get clothing because we need clothing. Because <laughs> you forgot your shoes at home. Yeah. Naughty. And, I, and apparently we have to um, cover our shoulders so I need stuff like that. It's a lot of bus stuff. It's just like pop and go or something. It's crazy. Time is money. Yes. We're <laughs> Currently on the hunt for some shoes for Claire. Unsuccessful so far. Finally have a winner. Found a pair of shoes in Barter. 450,000 long on special. Ladies, make sure you pack closed shoes. It's quite important. Sandals aren't good enough. We're not like 100% sure about it, but Dave Chalker, the main lecturer, has said it is a requirement. Okay guys, so we got home from the mall a bit later than what we wanted to because of the traffic in Vietnam. It is May here. I don't think you understand how bad Vietnam is with the traffic. Um, I felt like I was in a sea of... Um, a sea of scooters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was and crazy. it was um, the mall was about 12 kilometers away from our hotel, but it took us like 65 minutes to get in. Yeah, crazy. For our first day, we got a homework task. We have to write down 25 warm-up activities, as you can see. This yeah, it's work been everywhere. going on now. <laughs> and when we finish that, we will be sleeping okay. because it's another early morning tomorrow again for another lesson. Overall, the day was busy but not too bad not too strenuous we met some good people we got to introduce ourselves to one another we also still haven't figured out how we're going to get around from from the hotel to the school so we need to still try to get a scooter or something tomorrow so stay tuned for the next episode we'll probably be talking a little bit more about the observations and hopefully we can show you our motorbike and how we get around but for now, if you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.